dear students good day to all i am so happy and glad to join you all on this online platform once again to have a discussion on a very important topic for undergraduates and even for post graduation preparation multiple choice questions five mark scs everywhere the important area the so called epidemiological methods or epidemiological study designs so i am dr a balaji joining you guys professor and hod community medicine department working as professor and hod in tagur medical college and hospital in chennai so i thank uh, medicine group of uh, students for giving me this wonderful opportunity to join you guys in this online platform so today's topic as i told you epidemiological methods and various epidemiology study designs that we are going to discuss further in further slides so what is epidemiology just to recap of epidemiological definition the epidemiology definition says the study of distribution and determinants of various health related states or events and application of this particular study for control of various public health problems right so all these epidemiological methods or study designs are done to assess the causal association or to say that whether this particular causative factor is the real exposed for developing the outcome right so once again i repeat so all this epidemiological study designs are done to assess the causal association between the causative factor and the outcome right now let us see the epidemiological study designs one by one so epidemiological study designs are classified broadly into observation studies and experimental studies so these observation studies are further classified into descriptive studies and analytical studies so these analytical studies are further classified as ecological studies cross section studies case control studies and cohort studies so the experimental or intervention studies are classified again into clinical trials and that is randomized controlled trial is otherwise called as clinical trial for undergraduates and field trial and third one is community intervention trial so we will be seeing what are the basic concepts under each and every study design so let us start with observational and experimental study design by defining so observation says before going to the reference yeah this flow chart will explain you the concepts of all the study designs look at the first top most yellow color box did investigator assigns the exposure that means if the investigator assigns the exposure that means if the investigator intervenes yes means that means we are talking about experimental study so in the experimental study if the methodology the random allocation is done between dividing them into experimental group and control group then it becomes randomized control trial if the random allocation is not done it is called as non randomized trials similarly this side if the investigator does not assign the exposure then the study design is called as observation study if there is a comparison group yes means analytical study why for any analytical study we need a comparison group to do some basic analysis and try to find out what is the causative factor or how much the causative factor can be attributed to the outcome so for that we need a comparison group so if there is a comparison group it becomes an analytical study if there is no comparison group in your study as such then it becomes descriptive study then going one more step further based on the direction right so based on the direction that means look at this cohort study the cohort study starts from the exposure traces towards the outcome which means cohort study but in case control study starting from the outcome and going backwards and traces and find out the exposure is called as case control study that means retrospective study. that's why case control studies are also called as retrospective studies but in cross section studies exposure and outcome are measured at the same point in time right so hope all of you are very clear about this flow chart i repeat this flow chart once again if the investigator assign the exposure yes means experimental study random random allocation followed means randomized trial if it is not it is called a non randomized trial so if the investigator does not assign the exposure it is called as an observation study so if there is a comparison group it becomes and becomes an analytical study if there is no comparison group it becomes a descriptive study then again based on the direction going backwards is called as case control study going forwards is called as cohort study and measurement of exposure and outcome at the same time is called as cross section study 
So what are observation studies? This type of study allow nature to take its own course, that which means the investigator just observes the course, does not intervene. This is called as observation study. So undergraduates have to be very clear about defining these observation studies clearly and using these keywords whenever the question is posed by the examiner in the viva or also in the tumor question. And what are experimental or intervention studies? Intervention or experimentation involves attempting to change a variable in one or more group of people, which means the intervention, the, the investigator does some intervention, okay, among one or more group of people. What are descriptive studies? Descriptive studies are limited to a description of an occurrence of a disease in a population in terms of time, place and person, which is called as descriptive study. What are analytical studies? So analytical studies are study design. They are they go one more step further. As I have already told you, analytical studies will be having a comparison group. So when we have a comparison group, so analytical studies analyze the relationship between the health status, which means the outcome and the exposure or the so-called any other variable. So what are ecological studies? Ecological studies means the unit of study or population, ecology, as we know, ecology word itself means it is environment. So we don't deal with individuals, we deal with groups or the total population in ecological study. These studies are conducted by comparing the populations in different countries or different states or different geographical areas at the same time. For example, comparison of air pollution level and mortality rate at the same time in different countries where we don't use any individuals as such. It is just a comparison of air pollution level in two different countries at the same point in time, which is an example for ecological study. So what are cross-section studies or prevalence studies? Sometimes some of the textbooks say that cross-section studies come under descriptive study, cross-section studies come under analytical study. So either way, as, either way the cross-section study is correct. So cross-section study, if we have a comparison group, then it can be very well classified under analytical study. But in part textbook, I think it is given under analytical study. So cross-section study, as we have already seen, it is a single examination of a cross-section of population at one point in time, which means we measure the exposure and outcome at the same point of time. Example, prevalence of skin diseases among school children or cross-section studies are sometimes called as prevalence studies. As we know, prevalence is nothing but number of existing old and new cases at the point in time is called as point prevalence, right? So we are moving on to the next slide. That means next wing of the epidemiology studies, which is randomized controlled trial or clinical trial. What are these randomized controlled trials or clinical trials? So here the study population is randomly allocated into groups called treatment and control group. Treatment group, sometimes we call it as an experimental group. And non-treatment group or placebo group of people, those who are receiving placebo, they are called as control groups. And the results are assessed by comparing the outcome in the two groups after some period of follow-up. This is a classical example or simply explained as clinical trial or randomized control trial. Let me explain you with an example. So testing of an anti-hypertensive drug among hypertensives, those who undergo therapy or treatment groups and those who do not undergo new therapy are called as control groups. So usually these Randomized control trials or RCTs are conducted among patients attending tertiary care institutions, hospitals or dispensaries. What are field trials which come under experimental uh, group, experimental study design group? What are field trials? Field trials in contrast to clinical trials, these involve people who are disease free but presumed to be at risk. So data collection is done at the field, that's why it is called as field trials. But in randomized control trial, it is done in hospitals and it is done among patients. Here it is done among disease-free individuals but presumed to be at risk. These are called as field trials. Similarly, what are community intervention trials? So in this form or in this study, the treatment groups are communities rather than individuals. That we have seen the difference between ecological study and other analytical studies. So ecological studies where the unit of study is the population. Similarly, community intervention trials, the unit of study is a community rather than individuals. So this is particularly appropriate for diseases easily influenced by intervention directed at group behavior. 
for example cardiovascular disease so cardiovascular disease what will happen to a cardiovascular disease after introducing a yoga therapy in a community of more than 10000 or 15000 population what happens to the uh, incidence of cardiovascular disease after 5 years of follow up this is called as community intervention trial where we involve the entire community not the individuals yes let us see an example with an mcq testing an hypertensive drug among hypertensive those who undergo therapy or treatment groups and those who do not undergo therapy or control groups this study design is called as a clinical trial field trial cohort study or ecological study so here an investigator is giving a treatment so that's why it comes under clinical trial and it is done among patients attending tertiary care, uh, tertiary care centers so it comes under clinical trial not the field trial. let us see a next mcq the unit of study or population or group of people rather than individuals in which study design descriptive study ecological study case control study cohort study so this is clearly as we have discussed so ecological studies where the unit of study are population rather than the individuals yeah one more mcq exposure and outcome is measured at the same point in time is called as cross section study longitudinal study ecological study and clinical trial yes cross section studies so what are the other name for what is the other name for cross section study cross section study is also called as prevalence study so thank you so much medicine group and also the listeners those who listen to this video and kindly uh, give give us your feedback